Okay. Ready. Okay, just the initial thoughts on uh, hosting Miami tomorrow night. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, it'll be fun. I mean, two top 15 ranked teams. Um, you know, just something cool for our program that, you know, obviously we've just been building towards and, um, you know, just a, a cool experience probably for everybody. Um, but a, and a good test at the same time. You know, we got to continue to grow and get better. Um, and, uh, you know, you get to play against one of the best teams in the country, but you could do it at home. You know, we got a chance to do it against Auburn on the road, but uh, to get a chance to do it at home, hopefully it's going to be a huge crowd and, um, you know, hopefully a preview of, of what's to come later in the year. So uh, it'll be exciting. Um, excited to see how our guys handle it. And, you know, obviously now that we're not playing out of the, out of the weeds anymore like we were at Auburn, like we're, it's going to be, you know, they're not going to be sleeping on us, so uh, we got to come ready to play. So be, be interested to see how our guys handle it. Yeah, because when you guys not to approach this game any differently, because like when you are or when you were to Auburn, you were underdogs. Yeah. But now there's higher expectations nationally for you guys. You uh, tell them not to approach it any differently. Yeah, but we we teach that from day one. I mean, it's not something that we got to hopefully stress. I mean, we'll talk about it, but you know, we talk a lot about playing against the ball, playing against the standard, like. Uh, we should judge ourselves against that at all times and, and not worry about who's in the other dugout and um, what's on the line or anything. I mean, if you want to play the best baseball, you, you go out there and you play your best baseball every single time and uh, don't worry about um, all the you know e extra stuff or outside outside noise. You just got to worry about competing and, and playing to the best of your ability. So uh, it'll be a good test of how well we can do that uh, and how well that, um, again, uh, it's really easy to, to talk about it and say it, but when you get in the moment, you, you've got to be able to be present and play the game one pitch at a time and just worry about the things you can control. So it'll be, a, again, a good test where the, the, you know, the expectations are different than they were against Auburn and, um, and things like that. So uh, be, see how, uh, be interested to see how good we really are at it. I gotta imagine the confidence, though, is, is really high given the start. And yeah, no doubt. I mean, obviously, um, you know, winning breeds a lot of confidence. and. Um, the guys have worked really, really hard, which breeds a lot of confidence. And um, you know, and I think that it just the culture of the program right now, just the kids have a lot of belief, and um, it's been a big part of our success. So, um, no, no doubt. Uh, but uh, it's also a, a, a really, really good opponent, and so we got to be able to come out and, and play um, to the best of our abilities, and, and continue to play the way we've been able to play, and be able to handle. Um, you know, again, all that extracurricular stuff that really we have no control over um, and be able to come and handle handle our business. You've had a lot of big contributions this season from freshmen. Can you speak of one in particular, Matt Archery had a big home run his first of the season yeah. the other day on Sunday? Yeah, it was huge. You know, I've just I got a lot of high expectations for the group uh, just, just from the recruiting process and knowing what these kids were all about. And, you know, they've pretty much answered the bell in a lot of different ways. But, you know, I, you know, I spoke a lot about how good I thought Matt was going to be, not only this year, but in his career here. And I'm going to look back in, in three or four years and talk about, you know, just the, uh, the, the things that he's done to our program and, and what he's brought to the table. Uh, just a really unselfish player, plays the game the right way. Um, uh, plays hard, is up there competing his tail off, and is a great teammate uh, from a great family and, and a great high school program. And uh, he's been a huge part of our team, and I'm, I'm proud of him not only for what he's done, but just the fact that we, you know, last minute switched him from second base to third base, and he's handled that great. And just will do anything he can to help the team. Uh, and just you know, excited for not only the rest of the season to see how he does, but the rest of his career. How personal is tomorrow's game for you? Uh, Probably not as personal as it was probably four years ago um, or nine years ago when I was at Wright State and got to play them. You know, obviously um, the place means a lot to me. I grew up there, I was a huge fan and, and obviously got to live my childhood dreams, um, you know, doing the things that we were able to do in, in terms of winning national championships and stuff. Um, but at the end of the day, like, um, you know, I, I root for those guys because they're all my friends still and, and meet people that have meant a lot to me in my life. Uh, but. You know, I, I've got stuff I want to do here and, and for these kids and, and for this program. And uh, so that kind of, you know, the nostalgia and the excitement of playing them is really is really kind of faded the more and more we play, the more I get used to it. And um, it just becomes another team and another opportunity for us to try to get better. Do you have a uh, starting pitcher? Yeah, Jalen will start. Uh, you know, I've, I've, we'll have all hands on deck, though. So um, I can't imagine, you know, it'll be like a normal game where, you know, he goes five, six, seven innings. And, It'll probably be short, try to get a bunch of guys in there, mix, mix and match, and um, you know, obviously try to get to, to the dudes late.
the challenge for uh, Miami's offense, when they're doing this without Freddie Zamora, but yeah. even so, they're still they're still really good. Yeah, I mean they're they're very uh, not only talented but very old uh, old and experienced. I mean, um, you know, Terrell and and. Uh, I mean, even Lala, who started every game last year, and, and Terrell's a three-year pretty much starter. And, um, you know, obviously led the ACC in home runs, I think, last year. And um, Gill's a three-year starter. And um, uh, Villar, I mean, all these guys have, have a ton of at-bats under their under their belts. I mean, even the, at the bottom of the lineup with Jenkins and Gates and, um, and guys like that. I mean, it's just been a very experienced uh, lineup that they've been playing together a lot for the last two or three years. And... Obviously had some success here the last couple of years. So, um, and left-handed dominant. I mean, they could have seven left-handers in the lineup, which I think really um, is, an, is a different look than what most people are, um, are accustomed to seeing. So hopefully Jalen and, and Hunter and, and, and Nick and, and Salt will be ready to go and, and rise up to the occasion and uh, be able to kind of thwart that, that left-handed dominant lineup. So, um, but they're super talented. Um, and super and super experienced, and that's a it's a dangerous combination, uh, especially when you mix in the talent that they have down there. What's Nick Romano's status? Is he available at all, Nick Romano? Yeah, yeah, he would. We're just giving some guys some days off. Guys that are scuffling a little bit on Sunday, so okay. he'll be back in there. Kind of, good. Kind of some late breaking news. Uh, the Ivy League, of which he now resides, they just canceled their basketball tournament, so they've been implicated. Im implicated um, implemented strict uh, venue rules for home games, spectators. I know Yale's supposed to come this yeah. weekend. I mean, have you heard anything? Is it still on? As I haven't. Know? I didn't know that about the basketball. Uh, I mean, there's been a bunch of rumors probably in the last 72 hours that I've heard. Um, you know, we've been in contact with them. Everything has been, um, they're already in Florida. Okay. Because um, they were in South Carolina on spring break. I know they were in South Carolina and then they're playing Jacksonville on Wednesday. So they're in, t they're in the state of Florida. Okay. I know that. I know they've been talking to us about practice on Thursday and, and their lift and all that kind of stuff. So right now, everything I know is, is, is a go. Uh, but I mean, they're, I mean, I've been, I don't want to say concerned, but uh, I know there, there's been a bunch of rumors. I, I started getting some phone calls on Saturday, just kind of, hey, have you heard anything about this? And, you know, so there's definitely been, you know, just concern or whatnot, but um, hoping that the fact that they're here is going to keep them here. And, Maybe anything that they do will be post post the weekend or when they go back home. So, uh, but we'll kind of see. It's a wait, waiting game, man. Obviously, everything is is up in the air with, I mean, life. It seems like uh, you never know what what the next thing that's going to be canceled or or changed or altered or whatnot. So, um, you know, we just got to play it by ear and be ready to go. And, uh, and we got to make some adjustments. We got to make some adjustments. You worried about WrestleMania being postponed? Um, not unless somebody gets me tickets. Then I'll be really worried about it being postponed. So. Um, but no, not no, not at the <laughs> forefront of my mind. Um, you mentioned all hands on deck. Uh, Billy's been great for you guys this year yeah. uh, in his first season over here. Mm -hmm. uh, what do you think it means for him to be here after his journey from Florida and making an impact for this team? And yeah. what has he added for you guys? Well, I mean, he's a great kid. And he's like another coach on the field. He cares a lot about helping others and uh, just has a very broad baseball mind in terms of always asking questions about the game or you know, what, what are we doing this or how are we going to do this kind of thing. So um, he's a really, really smart kid and uh, obviously gives us a different look. Um, you know, we've got some really, you know, obviously with Hakinson and, and Sinclair throwing the ball, you know, in the mid to upper 90s. Um, and then to have a guy like that to be able to bring in, I mean, it just gives you a different matchup, a different look. Um, he's super competitive, though, and, and gives us a, a, a great chance when he's out there. Um, he can get ground balls and, and uh, really, again, it just don't see many of those types of guys and uh, it doesn't matter how hard you throw it's just a different look that other offenses are just not used to seeing and uh, by the time they kind of catch their bearings you hope that he's out of the game and then you can kind of flip the script again and bring somebody in the snow in 95 97 um, and it, it just can keep guys off balance and, and get a different look that we feel like that's the best matchup but it also um, because of the depth of our bullpen I mean he's been a huge addition you know last year we had so many issues with guys not getting enough rest and, and having to uh, pitch through some stuff in terms of soreness and stuff and again like you know we were able to to rest guys and keep guys fresher for not only for each weekend but for the entire season I mean, we got to be our best at the end of the year and uh, you're going to want Hakinson and Sinclair and those guys to be good so you're going to have to have more guys in the bullpen that you trust in, in big moments and so to add another guy like him that we can trust late in the game um, just again gives us that depth um, and the ability to give a bunch of different looks that really really has helped us Thanks, Thanks, guys. Thank Appreciate you. it. See you all tomorrow.